Okay, so we look at Battlefield 5 at 21 by 9. Battlefield has not let us down for a long time, and this is no exception. I've easily settled into knowing attention will have been given to ultra-wide support with this series, something I can't say about a whole lot of other games currently. That said, the actual game isn't perfect, with some dark shadows overhanging the release window and the release of future content. But anyway, first, the ultra-wide support. Gameplay correctly shows off more on the sides of the screen at all times. The HUD scales to the sides of the screen, and you can easily toggle it on or off if you really want that immersive experience. All menus scale to use the entire screen space, though there is a menu, the assignments one, where you scroll side to side that has some element overlapping issues in the extra 21 by 9 screen space, where they haven't factored in how the elements should appear behind one another. It's small though, and doesn't affect usability at all. One thing, if I'm being extra picky, is I'd love some of the buttons on the sides of the menus to not be pushed to the very corners of the screen space. It makes for a lot of mouse movements to reach them. Locking some of these buttons to 16x9 would actually have been nice. Again though, a lot of these movements can be avoided anyways, you can just hit the spacebar instead of using your mouse. Performance-wise, DICE knows how to optimise. They truly are at the top of their game, and Battlefield 5 is a perfect example of this. The game is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, and RTX BS aside, this runs beautifully. On a GTX 1080 Ti at 3440x1440 on ultra everything settings, with just anti-aliasing turned down one notch, I can stay in the 70s to 80s at all moments. You can dip into the 60s when a ton of destruction occurs all around you at once, but I never noticed anything serious to affect gameplay. It's lovely. Some maps obviously are more difficult to run than others, and certainly parts of those maps too. There are a robust set of graphic settings to help you run this on your system, and they do have a noticeable impact on your performance. They also, thankfully, have no need for a game restart to come to effect. General PC support-wise, as always, this is absolutely stunning support, and possibly the best yet. You can change pretty much everything from all key bindings, controller stick dead zones, HUD elements, gameplay settings, etc, etc. The list is long and extensive. You will definitely be able to play this exactly how you wish. There is a fantastic FOV slider that will easily give you the most view comfortable to you, though there is a lot of stretching on the side, so careful about going too high with this. Standard stuff, though. All in all, Battlefield 5 is one of the best titles in the series. The changes made to incentivize teamwork have really paid off. The lack of ammunition and other minor issues I flagged when I made my beta video have been addressed, and this means I've really been loving this the last week and a bit. Without doubt, the gameplay and graphics mean this is a must-buy. The only thing that affects my opinion of the game is the way EA has insisted on, well, firstly, the game being released. That's got to have been one of the most convoluted release structures ever, and obviously I hope no one watching this video pre-ordered the game. And a second issue I have is the way in which the Battle Royale mode was just removed from the launch build, and the feeling that we're lacking a number of maps. Yes, there are a solid selection, but I really wish there were like four more. The way game modes utilize maps and the continued annoyance of moving from the last Battlefield with all its DLC maps to the new Battlefield game with its, in proportion, tiny selection of maps is always annoying. I get that the maps are used to renew attention in a game post-launch, but yeah, I already feel like I've played the hell out of all the base maps. And of course, everything is in the shadows of the ridiculous remarks from the devs a while ago, which I shan't even bother to cover. Anyway, my final point is quite simple. With a WAF score of 5 and great gameplay and graphics, I have no hesitation in recommending this to you to buy. If you love World War II games or just want a solid multiplayer war title, this will provide some of the most exhilarating, intense, satisfying gaming right now. That said, you might find pause over some of the developers' actions leading up to the release or the way that they're handling game content, so yeah, just some things to consider. I hope you can do some information on the game runs at 21 by 9 Give this video a like if you found it helpful, and subscribe for future info. For any of the games at 21 by 9 head over to my channel, the WAF website. Hopefully I've covered it. If I haven't, then leave a comment down below and I'll try and cover it. And if you'd like to support the channel, links to my Patreon page are in the description. Amazon affiliate links are there too. See you later.
Sector is nearly ours. 